He gingerly enters the collection room of the ornithology department at the National Museums of Kenya, a familiar routine often characterized by pin drop silence. At his workstation, he proceeds to set up his instruments of work meticulously. This has become his daily ritual for almost a decade. It is a hands-on process that has made him a master of his own craft. Alex Mutati is one of the country's few taxidermists. His area of specialty, birds. His journey to becoming a taxidermist, preserving birds by mounting or stuffing for the purpose of display and study, was inspired by his father, a renowned taxidermist in Kenya, formerly attached at the National Museums. When I was young, my dad used to bring students from Europe, America, to my rural home to train them on taxidermy. When he was training the students, interest. At an early age, his father continued to notice the spark in his eyes, concluding that his son might have the family gift. Maria Kwanza because Mimi was bent to a bit. What they are doing is not good because they used to kill those students, but they are, it, was, it, it was allowed that time. He used to give me the, those small, small birds because it's easy to skin yes. and it takes less time. While still in high school, his father retired from the profession. However, due to the lack of adequate taxidermists, he was forced to come out of retirement in order to train the next generation. It was here where Alex decided that after completing his studies to pursue the noble profession. But nowadays, almost the birds in the mother tank, the local language there. common name. Sasa kulikuwa na challenge kubwa sana. He knew that hata nikisema na kikamba itanipeleka mahali. Sasa alikuwa anajaribu kuniambia na na English at least ndio nishikanishe. Alex will then go on to acquire training locally by observing the different bird species in the country, distinguishing water park birds and forest birds. Later in his career, receiving further training in Japan and Cameroon. We don't kill birds. What we do we rely from uh, a public or a person like you. If you find a dead bird on the road, you bring it to our section. We take it the, through the procedure. Afterwards, Alex does his magic, preserving the bird. Then we put it to the deep freezer, waiting to be skinned. After skinning it, we take it to the fumigation cabinet to like a week or something like two weeks. You need to have the, the scalpel, then for the scissors, yeah, when you cut out the joints, then you can have the, the needle, yeah, kushona, then the cotton. Cotton wool is to make the body. For that bird, you, you just need the skin. One has to be careful, however, when working on certain types of birds. Like marabou stock is very dirty. Marabou stock. <laughs> Sometimes you can... Maybe when you are removing the skin, you have a mask, you have a cut, you have a cut, you have a cut, you have a cut, you have a So sometimes you feel ah, disgusting, so, yeah, but to me, yeah. The birds are then prepared to serve as a study skin for reference, flat skin for scientific exploration, and mounting skin for display in galleries. The National Museums boasts close to 30,000 birds in their collection, many rare birds, as well as this old one, the little grebe, collected in 1884. Those birds are extinct. The only place we'll find them is uh, this collection, no else. By preserving the bodies of these animals, either through mounting or stuffing, for the purpose of display or even study, Alex, a master of his own craft, is protecting these animals not only for the nation but also for future generations by highlighting his scientific art form. Shukriwachu K24 at the National Museums of Kenya, Nairobi.